Hey guys, welcome back. Did you know Unity gives you the tools to be able to export any 3D models or assets you may have purchased from their asset store to any other game engine that supports the FBX format? Let me show you how to export your assets into Unreal Engine 5. Okay, so within Unity, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the window drop down and I'm going to open up the package manager. And you want to make sure that you are in the Unity registry packages. You don't want to be in assets yet. So first, let's install the FBX exporter. So within the list of packages that Unity has available, under packages, we'll scroll down and it's in alphabetical order to FBX exporter. Clicking that, we'll just click install and this should only take a, a few seconds. Now that the FBX exporter is imported into our project. Now we can export almost any mesh or asset to another engine. So now we can safely change this to my assets and it will pull up your list of assets that you've either added to your library from the Unity Asset Store, purchase, or even the own, your own assets you've created. And I'm just going to select one. Okay, so I have found and identified the packages I want to download and install into my Unity project that I will then export to Unreal. So I'm downloading and then I'm going to import it into my project. And with that imported, now I will go ahead and open up the sample scene that comes with the package. Okay, so now I'm looking at the four helmets. And what I want to do is I I'm just going to break this one at a time. And what's interesting about these helmets is if I look over in the inspector at the sh uh, material shader, there's an albedo texture, a metallic texture, and a normal map texture. This is perfect because just like another video I posted earlier, there are some cases where a export may miss a texture. And I wanna show you those steps again in case it recreates the situation, this scenario. So with helmet one selected, I'm going to right click on it and export to FBX. And here's some information about the export process that we can change up before it actually performs export. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna change the path where it's exporting to. I'm gonna create a new folder called Helmets. And I can specify the name here of what the FBX model name will be, but that looks good. And I want to export in the ASCII format. And I want to include models plus animation. Even though there might not be any animations tied to these helmets, it's good practice just in case there's any skeleton uh, armatures. Level of detail, I want all levels. I want a local pivot for the object position. And then the rest looks okay. We'll go ahead and embed the textures and perform export. And it's real fast and once that's done, if I go out to that folder, I can see the one, the helmet one, skin one, FBX that I just exported. Okay, so now I am in Unreal. And what I wanna do is in my content folder, I'm gonna create a new folder and we'll call it helmets. And I want to import. So right clicking in the content browser and then going up to import, I can then browse to where I exported my helmet. Selecting that will open up the import option. So we have exported from Unity, we are importing into Unreal. So in the import options, we want to create new materials based on the embedded textures. Um, we don't need to modify anything with the scale or the rotation or the transform of the, of the mesh. So I'm, I'm going to just leave everything as is. Click the import all button. And there we go. So I can see a material and a couple textures. So if I double click the helmet, it'll open up this view and we can see our model. And that is our model helmet from unity now however i saw two textures and one material imported so here's our material and two textures so we have our base color and we have our normal map if i open back up unity what are we missing we are missing our metallic map what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually open up unity find out which metallic map i need to import i'm just going to drag that off just a little bit and I can just simply click and drag. And what Unreal will do is import a copy of that miss missing material. So now I've got all three, but I need to apply it to my material. So double clicking, the material will open up the material editor. And I can see we have our base color and I can see we have our normal map. And so I need to add that metallic texture map. So right clicking, I'm going to look for a texture sample. I can then specify the texture I want to apply. And that was the metallic smooth for the helmet one skin one. And then I can click and drag the node from RGB up to metallic. There we go. Having Clicking and dragging it up to metallic will bind it to the metallic property. I can apply it. I can save it. And now we can see a little bit more gloss and shine to the helmet. 
and it looks great. So in just a few minutes, what we were able to do is download the FBX exporter, import a custom asset from the Unity Asset Store, export it to a local folder on our computer, and then import it into Unreal. And then with just a little bit of tweaking due to a bug or some other feature I might have missed, we're able to fix the material's missing texture and apply it real time and see our update. And that is how easy it is to import a Unity asset into Unreal Engine 5. If this has been helpful, please subscribe. It would mean a lot to me and keep me motivated and keep creating these videos. And if there's anything that you would like to see or covered, please let me know, reach out, leave a comment below, join my Discord. Link is in the description. I hope to talk to you guys soon. Thanks.